Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson. So in this lesson we are going to see how to convert a standard parabola equation into turning point form. Okay, so that might not make a lot of sense right now, but what I mean is the following. If they give you an equation like this, for example, f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 6, then what they like to do in exams, and this confuses students, is they say write f of x in the form, and then they say f of x equals to a x minus p squared plus q. So we're going to need to know how do we convert from this equation to this over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use completing the square. So let's see how we do this. The first step is to always make sure that the number in front of the x squared is a 1, which in this case it is, okay? So we're going to say f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x. So you write the first two parts like that. Then you add this new piece, which is going to be plus. Then you open up a bracket squared. And the number that you're going to put in here is whatever this number is over 2, like that. Then we've just added something. Now you can't just add something. You can't just change the sum. So to correct that, we're going to minus it. I know it seems a bit weird that we're just adding and minusing, but this is how it works. And then the original minus 6 will just go over there. So let's compare carefully what we've actually done. We've taken this original equation up here. We've still got all the parts. There they are. But in the middle, we've got this part over here. So that is what we've added. So we added half of this number, and then we squared it, and then we just minused the same thing. Now going into the next line, we take these three parts over here, and they're going to go into one bracket. Now the two numbers that have a square, so that thing over there and that thing over there, they are going to go there and there. People often ask me what happens to this minus 4. It seems that it's going to disappear, but I promise you it is hiding in the background. If you had to multiply everything together, you'd see it is there. So we're going to say x, and then please, if this is minus 4 over 2, feel free to simplify that. So minus 4 over 2 is just negative 2. And then this part, you want to just put that all on the calculator. And that part is just going to give us negative 2. Now look what we've done, guys. We have converted this equation over here into this over here. And that is in the form a x minus p squared plus q, where our a value is just a 1, our p is a 2, and then our q value is minus 2. Now why would we want to do this? Well, the most simple answer is obviously that you get marks for that. It's something that teachers want you to know. But what is its main feature? Well, the main feature is, is that this over here will end up being the turning point of the parabola. So we can say that the turning point of the parabola, and remember always take, so if this is a minus 2, then that means the turning point is actually positive 2. And then this over here will be your y value of your turning point. And that is why this type of formula over here is very useful, because it gives us the turning point straight away. Let's practice another one. So what we do is we're going to convert it into that form again. So we write down the first part, and then we can also put the minus 8 at the end. Okay, so we've got everything the same. Then in the middle over here, we're going to do a few things. We're going to add whatever this number is, over 2. So it's going to be like that. Then you square it. But then you also minus the same thing. So it's minus 5 over 2 squared. And that's it. Now what we do is these three parts over here, they're going to go into one bracket. Okay, The two things with the square, which is this one and that one over there. So you're going to open up a bracket like that, and it's going to be an x and a minus 5 over 2, and then this last part here you just put on the calculator, and that'll give us minus 14.25, and there we're done. So what this now tells us is that the turning point x value is 5 over 2, and the turning point y value is minus 14.25. Of course you could work out the turning point of this equation by using the turning point formula for x, which is minus b over 2a, then once you, you find the x value, you could substitute that back into that equation to get the y value. But it would give you the same as what we have just found over here. But please, you must know how to do this step because you are going to get a couple of marks in the exams. I've seen them ask this for four or five marks sometimes. 